Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Bedeck and today I'll be doing a start to finish install. This one comes courtesy of Julia Hair and you guys know I got you covered. It's gonna be beginner friendly and you'll see two styles in one on this one. I'm gonna bond her down and style her like in a very beginner friendly way and then you'll see how it looks like on a flip over method. Super fun and sassy and cute. And then for the final grand finale, we're gonna be doing this cute viral hairstyle here. It's a little bit of a half a pad down with the little swoops going, you know, down the center very viral very cute very fresh and fly hope you guys enjoyed this one i kind of puffed the hair out a little bit more for this look but you'll see with the flip over the hair was a lot more defined so again you'll get a lot of versatility in this look and this tutorial got kids on the other side of the door knocking probably begging so without further ado let's jump into the video while i figure out what this cutie wants hi babe don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. Okay, ladies, let's jump right into it. This is the wig straight out of the sink. I did go ahead and shampoo and condition. I did use the Dr. Bronner soap and a Tresemme or L'Oreal conditioner. I'll have it linked in the description box. This is the hairline as well as the inside construction of the cap. We are going with Brazilian curly hair. It's a 13 by 4 lace front wig and it's a free part so you can part Anywhere you want from ear to ear, there are no restrictions in the lace. Here I am just customizing it. I did want to show you guys what it looked like on without any um, lace tint. And then I took it off and added the lace tint. And my lace tint is just a foundation in my own uh, shade color buffed into the inside of the hairline. Before I put it back on, I'm going to go in with the ever so popular My L, what is it? Rosemary and Mint oil i did go ahead and apply this generally along the hairline kind of rubbing it in and making sure it's saturated along the entire situation on top of that i did go in and lay down my sideburns with the um edge control from bdbd.com now the reason for this is because when your edges are out when you cut hair and your edges are not laid down um, i definitely have a tendency to cut my hair off because it's in the way um this is what the wig looks like on after you went ahead and warm up that lace with the lace tint and as you guys can see it made a huge difference it'll definitely wear down because this isn't a permanent solution it's just a foundation so it definitely will rub off if you choose the wrong color and you realize after you put it on you can simply you know wash it or it'll just rub off eventually so here I am cutting off the excess lace. You guys can see the star of the show is the hairline. It did come with this kinky edges. Now I have a direct link to this in the description box. And you can definitely, um, they do give you the option to order this one without the uh, kinky edges and then you can order it with the kinky edges both are 13 by 4 lace wigs and then you can also um, choose the density as well as the length. While I'm yapping away, I did go ahead and cut off the excess lace and I did bond her down. So after I bonded her down or applied the product, you did see me kind of like comb out the product because... So now that she's bonded down, let's go ahead and blow dry on a cool setting. You guys can see how gorgeous the hairline is. And even like when you wake up when your uh, edges are not done, it just looks so good and so natural in my opinion. I love it for me. I'm going to take more of the edge control. This time I'm taking it on the actual baby hair. And if you did notice earlier, I did comb it out. The reason I combed it out is because when you apply that adhesive, if you don't work it through properly, it'll dry and it'll make the uh, baby hair like hard and stiff with the white residue. And you want to make sure this is very, very much combed out. Also, I did want to trim it. The baby hair does come a little bit long for my liking, but if you have like a bigger head or a different shape forehead, this may be a length that's perfect for you. It's a one size all situation, so I just went ahead and customized it for me. Now I'm going to apply some mousse. Mousse is one of my favorite edge controls just because it allows you to like mold and form your baby hair and it definitely will work and the baby hair will stick however you want it but it also won't make the hair like greasy or like stuck to your head. It kind of keeps it a little bit more on the wispy side. 
And as you guys can see, I'm trying my best not to make the um, baby hair too uniformed. I've definitely sent a bunch of the strands of hair back into the rest of the hair because I don't want it to be just thick straight across. I want the hairs to go in different directions and be just super fun. And the icing on the cake, as I always say, is if you wake up the next day and you decide you don't want any baby hair at all, you can use your wax stick or your mousse to send all of this back and you can definitely alternate between baby hair days and no baby hair days and it definitely will add to the versatility of this unit also get a load of how beautiful the hairline is i did zero customizations as far as pre-plucking the hairline and you can see how well julia hair has executed this wig i'm absolutely in love and i definitely kept majority of that process um in so that you guys can see like literally it's very tedious sometimes to do baby hair but it's definitely worth it in the end because when it comes to maintenance it'll that baby hair will always remain this is what it looks like on i have to jet i have to go and get my son and take the kids to swim lessons so i'm gonna go ahead and let it dry i think i'm gonna actually add the melt belt the sideburns need to be touched up because i really didn't bond them down pretty or too good but this is the hairline and a close-up of what it looks like definitely gonna go ahead and powder it down a little bit to tone it down because it is a little bit bright but i'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like um once it's completely dry and this one did come from Julia Hair. This is the packaging. This one is 13 by 4 transparent lace wig in the length 24 inches. And then inside you did get a orange, really nice, dust bag. And it does have their logo on it. Excuse me from puffing and puffing. I got a really tight waist trainer on right now. Also, they provided this really nice tote, which I'm actually going to fold it down and put it in my um, car. Because I've been needing a little tote when I'm running into Target and stuff. And then also they gave me some free goodies. These are some wig caps. And then inside this little bag, you have a second pack of wig caps. You have your really pretty mink lashes, a melt belt, a kabuki brush, and a second melt belt. So one for like workouts um, outside the house, like gym workouts, etc. And then one from home or like shower. This is what she looks like from the back. And I will see you guys in a few. Okay, guys. So last clip you guys seen, I went ahead and installed the wig and styled it because I washed and conditioned. Um, it was soaking wet. I did style it with, what did I style with? Mousse. Nairobi mousse. So I've definitely had an eventful evening. It is now much, much, much like hours, hours later. And I want you guys to see how the hair is held up without me like touching it up or anything. Now, I did finish or leave abruptly because it was time for um to go pick up my son and go to lessons so i did not like finish it like i would have if like i was like in the house like if i didn't have anywhere to be but i do feel like the hair came out amazing like the texture is absolutely amazing and beautiful so to be honest i want to leave the hair like this but jesse's wig did send me a um inspo pick of how they wanted me to style the hair so we're gonna go ahead and do that so you guys are in luck you guys will get a two in one so that i can um style it per their request okay now part two let's go ahead and style her can you imagine how amazing this one is going to be you definitely need this one in your collection i love it at this length you can get it shorter or longer all the details and dimensions are in the description box here i am just doing a very viral tiktok style we're going to do like the bangs in the front we're going to swoop them behind um the ears and behind the head and then we're going to do like a half up half down situation on top of that i love how it came out and as you guys can see the hardest part is just parting it and getting it behind the ears but it's not honestly not hard at all i'm gonna go ahead and use that same mousse to lay this down combing it through making sure it's as flat and neat as possible and then i'm definitely going to repeat this step on the opposite side because it's going behind the ear you want to make sure that like everything is secure and again just as neat as you can get it it definitely wasn't a tedious process at all
Now I'm going to take my rubber bands. I love these and they don't pop easily. And I'm just pulling that hair behind like underneath the entire um, wig. And I just secured it with that rubber band so that it stays in place. If you don't want to use a rubber band, you can definitely use bobby pins and secure them behind the ear. Now I'm going to go in for a half up, half down. Again, using more of the mousse to make sure that the ponytail is nice and smooth and sleek and just not too bulky i'm going to take a little rubber band and i'm just going to go around making the neatest ponytail i can possibly do it's giving messy it's giving natural it's giving everything and more don't think about it too much don't think about it too hard this is what it will look like as a bun and then this is what it will look like as a ponytail absolutely gorgeous and adorable i love the versatility and i love when you can make many different styles with your units and this definitely takes okay, the cake beautiful people let me step back a little bit okay babies so this is the final result and you guys already know i love it now i am happy that this company specifically requested a hairstyle because you guys know me it's going to be a bust down center part side part maybe a curved part or no part at all like a flip over and i do like to step out of my comfort zone so i wanted to see what this one looked like in my true element which was a no part situation loved it that's how i wore the wig actually today it is about five or six hours later so you guys see what it looked like when it completely dried um and this is what it looked like styled so i did a half up half down i really didn't focus on the parting um only parting here is here and i kind of just did it a little bit centered but maybe not so perfect I did tint the lace underneath, which is why the tone of it is so warm. And I actually just want to keep it like that. And then I just put it into a little scrunchie. I'm not even going to worry about like adding hair around the base of this. Um, that's not even a scrunchie. It's a rubber band. Um, I'm just going to keep it as is. And with this top piece, you can do it how I have it. You can twist it, you know into a bun which is cute too um you can braid it you can do literally whatever you want to it but i just like it um like this the most for like first day hair you guys already know this is kind of like a viral um tiktok slash social media hairstyle i feel like this one is a little bit more geared to the younger ladies who like to do you know the funner hairstyles me in my old age i feel like it definitely looks good on me i probably will swoop it a little bit more forward for this forehead um but i do like the fact that i did add a little bit of baby hair along the hairline and it just makes it look a lot more natural even just having it um a little bit further back on my forehead makes it look a lot more natural let me know what you guys think of this one again this one did come from julia hair i have a direct link in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches